So one of the matters that we discuss a great deal on Fast Twitch Grammar is the importance of high intensity interval training. But let's remember, as many of our articles indicate and, and talk about, that's not a long period of time that you need to be doing. You only have to be doing maybe 10 seconds. So when you're getting started learning to sprint and using the treadmill, you can just do a, a number of short bursts, just 10 second bursts. So put the treadmill up, to a speed that you feel comfortable with, just to start to get to some speed. But then, just do that speed for a short period of time, and then slow it down again. And then rest till you feel your heart rate go down, and then build up the speed again to a speed that you feel comfortable. The six seconds, and maybe John, you want to speak to that, is because that's our ATP start. Yeah, you want to use your stored ATP, and you want to take it, you know, if you're going hard, you want to take ample recovery in between because you want your ATP, and it takes, I don't know, a minute or two to really uh, replenish in the, in the stored ATP in, in the muscles. So, you know, if you're going to do these hard bursts, you want to take ample recovery in between. But again, we're also, we're always wanting to concentrate on form. No matter what we do, we want to reinforce good form. Whether we're running slow, whether we're sprinting, if we're learning how to sprint, neural patterns are forming and you always want to reinforce those neural patterns because when you get out there and you're actually sprinting you know it, what what your mind is familiar with with the muscles that you've learned to recruit you learn to recruit more muscle fibers that's all going to be learned constantly on the treadmill whether you're going slow or fast